Hey yo, what's up? It's teacher here and today uh, I'm gonna bring you another video on Master Chem Case Study and today we're talking about how we can um, cut a knurling surface like this on a park using the multi axis tool pad, okay? Normally, with a surface like this, you can use a chamfer, a chamfer tool for cutting the nerve, but uh, you can see this is a curved surface. So, uh, you can, uh, it's quite difficult to cut this uh, slot because it's not uh, perpendicular, but it's lay on a curved surface. So, a good thing is you can uh, run this on a, a five action machine, okay? And instead of using a chamfer tool or a slot cutter, you can use a T slot cutter with a 90 degree uh, cutting edge and we can cut this slot. But uh, with the chamfer mill, if you cut this uh, surface with the chamfer mill, uh, it takes a lot of time because the chamfer is not cut, is, is cut not so good and the surface is, is not good also. Beside that, you have a lot of uh, buff here on, on the surface when you cut with a chamfer tool. Okay. So, we got the 5 action machine. Why we don't use the, the 5 action machine to cut this surface? Very simple. Okay, I'm going to show you now. To make the knurling knurl, the like this, uh, I'm going to use a uh, one of my favorite tool pad that's the project curve okay the first thing we uh, need to do is we we're gonna create the curve okay here i can show you the curve i created i will put it on a level a level called a 5x curve here so you can see we have some curve here. Okay, I will uh, select the entity and I will make it go uh, so you can see. Yeah, the curve I created. You can see this, 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 this. Yes, we have curve here. And we also here in the vertical direction. <coughs> in the y direction, we also have curve. We already have the curve. The next step is uh, we need to find the surface. The surface is to do the projection. Okay. <clears throat> Take a close look here. We have this. We already have the surface. Yes, the other surface we use for projection. We use this this curve and these surfaces. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, my voice not good today. Okay. <clears throat> if we use this curve, these are the surfaces we need to use for projection. So the tool will stay um, perpendicular to this surface. And because this angle between this surface and this surface is 90 degree, we can use a flat end mill cutting this. No, very simple. You can see the tool will uh, uh, go like this, say perpendicular to this to the surface, and tangent to the surface. Okay, in this direction. And for direction is the similar way. We have the curve here, the curve here, and here. From here to here, we have the curve. And <clears throat> we use this surface. Um, we use this surface, yeah, for for projection, yeah. So the tool we say perpendicular to the surface and tangent to the surface. Okay, we cut it with the 
flat and mill okay <clears throat> This part I already created and the tool path here you can see I have the project curve tool path like this and this is for roughing I use a, <coughs> a 16 millimeter flat 10 mil okay like this you can see This is the curve we need to project, and we use this surface for projection. Okay, you can see the tool that when it do the projection is tape perpendicular to the surface, like this. In 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 in. Yeah, we we'll take a look from the front. You can see how the tool go. Okay. Yes, this is a projection. Cool, right? I will show you how to uh, to create a tool pad later. Okay. That's for the y uh, direction, and for the x direction, we do the similar way. Okay. okay we take a look from uh, the right side. Okay. Yes. For the neck, you can see um, with the projection tool pad, the curve stay perpendicular to the surface, like this. Okay, this is how this go. Okay, all right, very simple because um, we cut the groove with the, the flat end, so we have the the high cutting speed here on this area at the radius of the tool so we got a good surface finish okay that's how the tool go let's take a look on this uh, project curve tool pad okay we have some uh, important parameter we select the tool first so you can see for the roughing um, I use a 16 millimeter roughing end mill okay <clears throat> and here on the pattern uh, on the edit curve we click on this button to select the curve you can see <clears throat> I have uh, the curve selected yeah this is the curve I selected you can see that And then for the dry surface, you can see <clears throat> here are the surfaces I use for projection. Yeah. Okay, so the tool will stay perpendicular to this surface. Okay. For the cutting side, I use the left offset, so the tool will stay on the left side of the 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 curve. Okay. For the tool axis control, I use the five axis output, and uh, the tool axis will stay uh, perpendicular to the surface or stay normal to the surface. This is a simple way. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So I use the lead in and lead out at the first and the last of the operation. Okay. And I also use a a cylinder clearance error. Okay. For the linking and uh, yeah. For the linking parameter, I have uh, I already uh, explained in another video on uh, the project curve tool pad. You can check my other video. Okay, I don't want to go to uh, talk more detail on this video. Okay, <coughs> I 
just want to show you how to we can use the tool pack on this part okay and we do the same for for this group okay let's take a look again you can see Yeah, the curve we use for projection okay and for the surface okay so you can see we use these surfaces for projection in this direction okay and how about uh, in this uh, area where we have a hole here we have no surface for projection in this area <clears throat> if you want to get a, a continuous tool pad <clears throat> you can create some surface like this okay. you can see I have created more surface on this area so we have a smooth tool pad no interruption <coughs> I'm sorry okay you can see here I have very more surface for projection in the area where we uh, we have the hole here also here I want to cut this uh, chamber so I'm gonna create the surface here, the sub additional surfaces. How to create these? Very simple. I will show you. Okay. We go to the surface and we select a surface from solid. I pick one here. Okay. You can see we have a surface here. And then the next thing is just copy from here to here so you can see we got the exactly surface do the same for other surface okay very simple and now we check how it uh, run on the machine okay machine simulation Oh my god, what happened with my voice? Oh my god, like a robot. Then it's like a machine, okay. Simulate. Okay, let's open the door. Machine, door. Chain of speed and tool pad trace follow okay so you can see the tool pad and how the tool cut into the part this is the rough outside <coughs> okay And we drop uh, outside again to make the curve. This is the dynamic tool pad. Okay, next. Okay, this is the rough cut. You can see. Slower in in yeah cool right this how we cut it in a five axis very 
very simple and I believe it can create a very smooth surface on the part okay now we make the hole for the screw roughing the counter sink okay and we make the hole for the screw I don't have a 3 one machine so just mute it no problem Okay, this is the finished contour outside of the park. We finished the outer surface. Okay, and we do a finished cutting. See that? Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Now we finish the counter sink. Okay, so here the part after finish, you can see. <clears throat> this is how the rich people make knowing. <laughs> okay. Okay, I hope you like this video, uh, and goodbye for now. Sorry for my uh, bad voice today. Okay, see you again.